Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. This is Contaminated, and we'll be looking at one of your favorite assets in today's episode. And that is none other than AMC, the undisputed king of meme stocks. Before we begin, as always, if you want personalized alerts for when I'm buying, selling, swing trading, day trading, or investing, just check for the Discord link in the section below. Now, we are watching AMC as overall optimistic. And as you can see in the last video, we stated that this configuration suggests a probable move to the upside. You can expect this general move into the 328 level if we do the future breakthrough 435. This consolidation is represented by this pink line. As a result, you will have to wait for this asset to establish a channel or a consolidation. That will be your best chance for a continuation higher over the coming weeks, which does seem to be the case overall for this asset. Now, we've mentioned this asset space several times, and you can see another excellent illustration of this asset space and subsequent higher breakup in the yellow box over here. Hence, in this broad framework, that is essentially what you'd be looking for as well. Should we fall below that 435 level? Now, another approach to look at the entire scenario is to consider it as a finish wave one. Forgive me, as that was plainly the bear case. So, as this appears to be going three different ways. Hence, the only way that could work is if we go to a smaller time frame and require five waves to be present. As a result, you might be able to squeeze that fifth wave in. Hence, there are five waves in theory. As a result, as we begin to climb higher, AMC must break this pivot high. Hence, if we are able to break over the pivot high at about 459, we will have a five-legged structure that might launch a strong bullish run for the stock. You therefore desire to see a one and a two. This entire situation is a three, four, and five. Hence, before this asset breaks below, we must establish a new high at or above 550. One of these pivots is most likely connected to 463 or somewhere near to 480. The final line of defense is 463. If it breaks through, that is, if it looks like this and then moves higher, you want it five waves, which will be very, very sad, and we'll probably be using that bear case scenario instead. We can, however, consider this a one if we manage to hold at or near 524 and establish a new high. Nonetheless, a pullback into the supporting structure is likely to occur. Then we make a terrific run above the previous high of $7 by going up high for three, four, and five. As a result, the three would be here, the four would be here, followed by the oops and the five would be there. Change this to this, then replace that with that. You will receive $2.5 million on Tuesday, which will equal $2 million on Wednesday. For TDs, $1.5 million on Thursday and $1.4 million on Friday. The following week saw $2.1 million in funds on Monday, $2 million for TD on Tuesday, 3.2 million on Wednesday, 3 million on Thursday, and an additional nearly 3 million on Friday. Did you even realize that money were being cut off last week? Several people questioned you, and it appeared as though it had been moved to Friday because, as you may be aware, on Thursday and Friday, the markets kind of sharply declined whereas AMC actually had a positive day. Although though AMC just broke even on Friday, it outperformed the market by a factor of 4 to 5 for the majority of the day on both Friday and even Thursday. And on Friday, I believe some of those funds were beginning to be closed out. Yet there is still a long way to go. You will also receive some economic data for the upcoming week. But it won't be as significant as what we just received, such as the CPI, PPI, and retail sales. In that regard, it's going to be a little slower. Hence, I don't necessarily believe that this week will be a huge one for economic data, or at least that the data won't significantly affect the markets. AMC share price fell one cent after hours to close at $5.24 on Friday. As a result, both normal trading and after hours trading are down 0.99%. Now, despite my sincere belief that we would, we did not close over 530. Never did we, but we're still here. Your five-day moving average is higher than yours. It appears to be positive. You did, in fact, see a fast hastic fast signal, which does show a pretty aggressive bounce from the lows we were at and does show some really optimistic sentiment beginning to flow into AMC. 
Thus, in my opinion, that is positive. Overall, the McT appears rather neutral, bordering on ashamed. Below the blue line, this yellow line is beginning to curl up a little bit on some lower red candles. So, it appears that could turn bullish in a relatively short period of time. At 48.78, the C is essentially neutral, with neutral being 50 and neutral being little on the oversold side. As I mentioned, but generally very neutral, this is not going to be a price forecast. Rather, it's what I genuinely hope to see in this week. Naturally, that video usually debuts on Sunday. It might be released on Monday. Moving back and forth is me. And when we actually want to release that video, since I believe this week will also be significant leading up to AMC earnings not this week, but the next week so it will be crucial what happens this week. Nonetheless, I still want to see a close above 530. And this week may be the one when we truly break through this downward trending line of resistance. Since the June rally, you haven't actually been above this line and maintained above it, right? This level has rejected you. That, the 530 level, where AMC was prior to the June rally, represents the actual bottom for the entire time. You went up following the rally in January, right? You descended, maintained this level, and kept it up until June, after which you experienced the gamma squeeze, because shorts didn't provide much coverage. I can't even truly call it a short squeeze. The foundations did not support that. AMC appeared to be still going bankrupt for legitimate reasons. Short, short positions did not fully cover. Only people who were completely screwed off and saw the value of their hedge funds fall by 20, 30, 40, or even 50%, as in the case of Melvin Capital, had to cover their short bets. Everyone else simply rode out the storm and probably still paid out around $20 to $30, but not quite the 50, 60, or 70 that AMC ultimately reached. Remove the lines, third wave degree would be that. And after that, you would be watching for a retreat before wave 5 eventually rose higher, maybe into the $12 to $13 level. That will therefore be the worst case scenario for AMC. Once more, everything hinges on whether or if we produce a fifth wave higher here over 550 before falling below 480. In the end, if we break below 440, you'll probably test that low again which means that this stock will likely be in the bear case scenario where you're looking for some consolidation off of the lows and then trying to find a new breakout to the upside, similar to what is happening right over here. Okay, gentlemen, let's hope this video was helpful for you in the future. You were given the bull and bear case scenario by yourself. And as usual, if you want personalized trading alerts or to trade with me, whether it be day trading, swing trading, or any other sort of trading, just look for the Discord link down below. And if I don't run into you guys in the Discord, I'll make sure to bump into you here on the very next Be Invested episode. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you all again soon, I'm sure.